ride. So we're zoomed up real close this morning because I can't get my camera to go any further back. Uh, I just wanted to start off uh, today, this video with a, um, my whatever this is, uh, with a Bible study. And this was a quick one. Uh, this is Psalms 105.5. Remember the wonders he has done, his miracles and the judgments pronounced. Uh, you can read more of, of this passage. Like I said, this is Psalms 105.5. Uh, the whole point is, is like, there are times in my life when um, things are, um, things get bad or um, I start to doubt. I hear things um, that maybe make me question a little bit of my faith. And all I have to do is simply look back and focus on those things that God's done for me already. Um, I went from being a kid who had no clue what I was going to do um, with my life and um, I was not prepared to go to college. I was not prepared for much of anything. My dad told me when I turned 18, you need to either get a job, go to Voc Tech, or join the military. I joined the military. and. My first, you know, six, nine months in the military, uh, <clears throat> I pretty much just did what I wanted to do. <laughs> and man, it led me down a path really fast to, um, you know, I got into a bad relationship uh, and that pretty much destroyed me. And God spoke to me in that time, um, probably the most audible I've ever heard. I mean, it wasn't audible, but it was the most like, um, just like smack upside this, you know, the side of the head. Um, because of this bad relationship, um, I, I, I couldn't sleep. I wasn't eating. I, uh, I was just in a bad place. And God, uh, one day just said, go talk to a base chaplain. And I knew that the base chaplains were primarily, you know, guys who just did the job because it was a job in the Air Force. Um, and so they weren't necessarily like there because the Lord put them there. Um, but God just said, go. And I went and I talked to this base chaplain and he just happened to be a reservist that was there during Desert Shield. And he was a Baptist minister. I grew up in a Baptist church. And he didn't really say anything like super profound. I think it was just that I was willing uh, to take that step. And I got my life back into church. And that was probably 1990. And I really haven't left church since then. Um, but I can look back at those, those steps in my life where God was a important part of walking me through the hardships in my life. And I think if we start to focus on those things that God has done for us already, um, the miracles that we've seen, family members healed, um, the jobs that he's provided, um, when we've repented, you know, from our sins, God has helped us. Um, God has provided me throughout my life my whole life, uh, someone to always communicate with, um, you know, he's always been there. And I think once we, we start to take our eyes off of all the things that he's done and we look to the things that we want him to do, um, then we get into a really negative area. And then if we look back at all the other things that have happened in our life, the negative things, and we only focus on that, things obviously get to be pretty negative. I was listening to somebody talk uh, a couple days back, and they were saying that a majority of the time that we are alive, we either think about the past or we think about uh, the things that we want in the future. And we tend to think about the negative things and we worry about those things instead of focusing on today and you know asking God to uh, give us what we need today. 
but also remembering what he's done for us um, throughout our lives. And really, you know, this is kind of a rough thing to say, but if you think God's never done anything for you in your life, um, you might need to try to give God a chance and live the way God has told us to live. Uh, repent of our sins, turn to God, and and that is when the Bible says that God can bless you. Because if you're living in sin, uh, those the blessings that you have are not from God. Those those are you know worldly blessings, and um, I believe that you know there is faith and there is action. Uh, and you have to have both. You've got to believe in God and you got to do the things the way that God intended to do things for us or us for God. Um, it takes both. So anyway, uh, so Psalms 105.5, remember the wonders he has done, his miracles and his judgments pronounced. All right, take care. God bless. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.